Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction because I want to say thank you so much for subscribing and for giving us uh, so much support when it comes to like you know just watching our videos you know and also what else like just uh, commenting on the comment section below and some of you are so you know like uh, good enough to even give us suggestions on whatnot yeah. i mean yeah that's a good thing so right about now we're gonna do another russian video and before we even get started so right now we're gonna do another russian video and this one right here is surah al hujrat i don't know how i pronounce it i don't know if my pronunciation is really good or i think i tried by omar hisham so without any further ado let's get it أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله واتقوا الله إن Ula 
الراشدون فضلا من الله ونعمة والله عليم حكيم وإن طائفتان من المؤمنين اقتتلوا فأصلحوا بينهما فإن بغت إحداهما على الأخرى فقاتلوا التي تبغي فقاتلوا التي تبغي حتى تفيء إلى أمر الله فإن ف أصلحوا بينهما بالعدل وأقسطوا إن الله يحب المقسطين إنما المؤمنون إخوة فأصلحوا بين أخويكم واتقوا الله واتقوا الله لعلكم ترحمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا يسخر قوم من قوم لا يسخر قوم من قوم عسى عسى أن يكونوا خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء عسى أن يكون خيرا منهم ولا تلمزوا أنفسكم ولا تنابزوا بالألقاب بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الإيمان ومن لم يتب فأولئك هم الظالمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتم واتقوا الله واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير قالت الأعراب آمن قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم وإن تطيعوا الله ورسوله لا يلتكم من أعمالكم شيئا 
Why? Wow, pretty much. I was like 12 minutes of just some good you know, knowledge. It's been some good vibes. Yeah, it's good vibes. Um, let me what, see. What do you think? I'm trying to remember the points that I picked up. There's one talking about um, filtering the message. It wasn't like that, but filtering the message you get from someone. Like mm -hmm. when a believer gets a message from an un a disbeliever or a non believer. No, there was another word used. You know, let's just say that you mm -hmm. have to don't just take that as the truth, you understand? Yes. I feel like that one can be applied to everyone in the world. It's just not me coming to you and giving you certain information. We sit every day, many of us sit every day in front of our TVs, listen to news. Sometimes those people tell us what, what's totally not happening, but we take that as the truth. More like understand? them washing us. Mm, I mean, us, maybe. No, you know the media is just full of... Um, no, but then that's just the example of choosing yeah. to give for this situation. I like the part where it says that, uh, don't, don't make assumptions. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I don't know, but to be honest, everybody has their own assumption of something. To be honest, mm -hmm. I mean, people have their own assumptions. I feel like we've been wired like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, how do something... I think you're going to be cool with me slapping you? Do you understand? Exactly. It's just like you, you, you cannot uh, put an obstacle on your thoughts. 
You understand? We think like it's just in our subconscious mind. I think it's same as just putting assumption on something, you know, or assuming that what if, or, you know, all those kind of stuff. But I, I think it's, but again, now it seems like it's sinful, you know, it's, uh, no, you know, I mean, putting things, assumption on maybe on a negative aspect of it or something, I don't know. I'm trying to see what example I can give for that one. No, just assuming that, okay, if I do this, I'm still better than you. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If I sin in this manner, but you did something last week, yeah. I assume that I'm still better than you, or maybe I'll go to heaven and you won't, but we both yeah. sinned at the end of the day. So Assuming that your religion is much better than this other religion. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the general summary about everything I got was um, like, um, what do you call this? This is a word I was looking for. Can I speak quite thing? Yeah. Another thing is all these things that we do, the assumptions, believing just anything, at the end of the day, God is seeing what we're doing. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. God is aware of our thoughts. Yeah. So it's like we can't hide from God. Whatever we do, be it in private, in public, God knows. And then I was trying to understand what the beginning of the video actually meant because they're talking of um, not calling to the prophet when the private rooms are being used. Did you take note of that? Yeah, but, but I really don't know how to record on that. Maybe maybe you guys can help us. Or what, what did you yeah, probably. think on that? I just wanted an explanation for that. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh... What, what I wanted to say was, I mean, the whole summer is just like, um, ah, this is what keeps, keeps on coming and going. Mm. I do love how this was about believers, though. Yes. Mm. It's like a warning to believers from God to some extent. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I want to say that there's a part that I was talking about. Um, no one is greater than than the than the other. Yeah, I think. I mean, it's you know when you think like you're bigger than the other person, but just we are all equal. Uh, I mean, in, in the eyes of of God or something, you know. Yeah. And then that aspect of just trying to belittle somebody just because of you think that. Because I'm I'm at this uh, I'm at this state, and this one is at this state, so I'm bigger than this guy. You understand? So it's it's pretty much so weird if people mm -hmm. think like that. That's actually a good one, though. You understand? I mean, you can't just think like that just because I'm a Christian and I feel like I've you know I've gotten the uh, what do you call this? All the anointing so <laughs> I'm looking at you like you're the little person that can never be in the same space with me you know but still like you said we're equal yes we're all equal anyway we understand other things which are materialistic and all those kind of stuff those are different compares compared to the spiritual world I mean I think it's totally, in the spiritual world is different you know Everybody has the, uh, um, what do you call this? Everybody has their powers and energy to just put out there. It's just that maybe they don't, I mean, they don't know how to tap into it. You understand? If you know how to tap into, um, into the spiritual world, or maybe uh, speak to God and all those kind of stuff, you know, there's many ways to show people and teach others, but not belittling them. Not showing that you're on a higher pedestal and then looking at these other ones that you will never reach where I am, you understand? And instead of helping you, they're just suppressing them, stepping on them. Because they're making them feel small? Yeah, you know? Yeah, so... So that's that. Anything else? No. 
make sure to give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video sure deuces